Welcome to Get Sleepy, where we listen, we relax, and we get sleepy. I'm your host, Thomas. This is a special episode requested by several of our regular listeners, made especially for those who are in some physical pain at bedtime. Maybe you have chronic pain or suffered a recent injury, or perhaps it's just the wear and tear of daily life that's left you feeling achy, and understandably, you're looking for some relief. First of all, I'm so sorry you're not feeling your best, but know that whatever you're going through, you're by no means alone and I hope you can get the help you need. Sleep can be particularly challenging when you're dealing with physical pain, so that's what we'll work on tonight. Hopefully this meditation will help you have more restful, peaceful, and comfortable nights that rejuvenate you for the following day. Although this practice is designed for sleep, it can certainly be used at any time of day, whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or bothered by pain and discomfort. In a moment, I'll hand over to Anne, who will explain how pain works, what it means to bring mindfulness toward pain, and how doing so can bring relief. After that, she'll guide you in calming your nervous system, which will reduce the sensation of pain you feel. And finally, she'll calmly guide a meditation designed for times like this, when your brain's internal alarm has gone off and the pain you're experiencing feels tough to bear. The technique we'll use is called titration. It involves moving your awareness back and forth from something unpleasant in the body towards something pleasant in the body. Over time, this practice of titration helps desensitize the nervous system to pain. Even just several focused repetitions back and forth can train our mind to coexist with the pain, rather than fight it and make it worse. So, relax into bed, or wherever you're resting at this time, and I'll make way for Anne to begin our meditation. For most of us, when pain arises in the body, our first reaction is to seek to get rid of it. Although this is a natural response, it's not the most useful one because it adds an additional layer of pain to what's already there. So instead, we'll be training the opposite response. Mindfulness, a response to pain that opens us up rather than shuts us down. One in which we compassionately get to know our pain and allow it to be there. This mindful response to pain may seem like a stretch right now, And that's okay. For the purposes of this meditation, drop any expectation or goal you may have of feeling better. Or even any goal of being at peace with your pain. Instead, 
make your goal to simply approach this meditation with curiosity and with an open mind. Learning to be at peace with all of the flavors of life is a courageous practice that can take time to master. But unlike quick fixes that generally only work temporarily, training the mindful response yields meaningful rewards you can look forward to. First, bringing mindfulness toward pain can change how painful you perceive something to be. Something that was once an eight out of 10 on the scale of discomfort can transform into a six or even a five. Paradoxically, as a byproduct of opening up to the pain, we can then experience more joy, more love, more awe. When we take our feet off the brakes and allow ourselves to feel pain in any form, other emotions and experiences feel safe to come out of hiding and a fuller, more vibrant life becomes available to us. Opening up to our pain also brings us closer to others since pain is a universal human experience. In fact, the relationship between pain and social connection is built into our bodies. When we experience something stressful, our body secretes the hormone oxytocin, which encourages social bonding. Opening up to pain helps us to relate to others and bring us closer to them. And lastly, when approached with curiosity and intrigue, pain has the capacity to teach us about ourselves, our minds, and the world. It can even be a source of inspiration and hope for others. So let's get started and train the mind to be open, curious, and accepting toward pain so we can live fuller, more harmonious lives. If you haven't already, find a comfortable position. If you're finding this difficult to do because of pain in your body, let go of tossing and turning. Instead, see if there's something small you can do to add a bit of comfort. Maybe you take a few extra moments to build a luxurious pillow fortress around your body or you could cover yourself with the coziest, softest blanket you own. You could also try placing a hand at your heart or even starting off the practice by giving yourself a gentle hand massage. Throughout this meditation, Allow yourself full permission to do whatever you need. That might mean changing positions a few times. It might mean releasing a few periodic sighs from your mouth. Or it might mean letting my voice completely drift into the background 
We'll begin by soothing our hard-working nervous system. Since it regulates how painful we perceive a sensation to be. When we're stressed and tense, our nervous system becomes sensitized and hyper alert. And when this happens, everything feels like a threat, regardless of whether it is or not. And we're more likely to feel pain But when we can relax, our nervous system can settle down. We can focus on other things and we're less likely to feel pain at all. We'll be soothing the nervous system using the breath, but also through cultivating the quality of curiosity. While stress and anxiety narrow our mind, curiosity opens it up, making it easier to see the bigger picture and get into a state of relaxation. Start by taking several slow, calming breaths. Breathe in deeply and slowly through your nose. And as you exhale through your nose, release something in your body that doesn't need to be working right now. In through the nose, out and relax everything. Inhale. Exhale. Softening the tiny muscles in your face, scalp, and forehead. Inhale. Exhale. Softening the muscles of the shoulders, back, and upper body. Inhale. Exhale. Relax the belly and the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Soften the muscles of the legs. Continue breathing deeply like this. Pain is woven into the fabric of each of our lives from the minute we enter the world until we take our very last breath. Pain is a universal human experience, and yet it's so easy to feel that pain is taking us away from life. That If we could only figure out a way to get rid of our pain or to avoid it altogether, everything would fall into place and we'd live happily ever after. However, it is this exact belief that pain is bad and must be avoided that makes our pain feel worse or what creates it in the first place. Anticipating pain before it happens 
and either pushing it away or attempting to numb it out of existence when we're experiencing it only exacerbates it. There's an old adage, what we resist persists. This couldn't be more true when it comes to pain. In the practice of meditation, countless difficult emotions, turbulent thoughts, and distractions can come up. With consistent practice, we get better at being able to turn toward these phenomena and work with them rather than react and push against them as we normally would. Over time, meditation trains and refines our ability to do the same thing in our lives. So that when something like pain knocks on the door of our consciousness while we're going about our life, mindfulness becomes the predominant response. Mindfulness is about getting intimate with whatever life brings. Whether it's feeling happy, experiencing pleasure or pain, it all belongs. Let's morph the deep breathing technique into what's called square breathing to further soothe the nervous system. Like a square, you'll inhale for two counts, hold with your lungs filled for two counts, exhale for two counts, and hold for two counts once your lungs are empty. Let's do it together. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, hold, one, two, inhale, one, two, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, hold, one, two, inhale, one, two, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, hold, one, two, inhale, one, two, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, hold, one, two. Continue at your own pace and feel free to extend your breaths out to three or even four counts if it feels good. Now, release the breathing technique and notice any effects of that practice. The beautiful lotus flower, native to Asia and a classic symbol of mindfulness, only blooms in thick, muddy swamps. If you want to get a closer look at the lovely pink flower, you have to wade 
through the muck. There's no way around it. No mud, no lotus. For the next part of this meditation, that's what we'll be doing together. Turning toward the pain. Walking into the muck so we can enjoy and appreciate the beauty of life in all its variety. First, bring your attention to the muck and start to dip your toe in. Where do you feel the pain or discomfort in your body? Next, acknowledge that this part of your body hurts. Acknowledge the pain you're experiencing without adding or taking anything away from it. And notice what that's like. Now, Send a few gentle waves of care to those places in your body. Let the pain know that you see it and that you are here with it. We'll call this part of the body the area of discomfort. Now, get a glance of the lotus flower in the distance. Find a part of your body that feels neutral or even pleasant. Perhaps the bottoms of your feet, the palms of your hands, or the tip of your nose. Select one place to rest your attention for the time being. Observe the sensations that are present here and label them in your mind's eye as you become aware. Lightness, warmth, coolness, Pressure. Acknowledge that this part of your body feels okay. Maybe it even feels good. This part of your body we'll call the neutral area. Stay here a little while longer. We'll now begin titrating from the neutral area, the pleasant or neutral place in the body, back toward the pain or the area of discomfort. Instead of doing what you might initially feel drawn to do, ruminating about the pain, distracting yourself with thinking about something else, or giving up on this journey to the lotus flower altogether, tune in. Remind yourself why you put on this meditation tonight. Just as you did with the neutral area, label the sensations here in the area of discomfort. Of course, the neutral area is always available to you. If the sensations in the area of discomfort become too much to bear. This is your body and your meditation. 
So listen to yourself and to what you need. But if it feels okay, notice what's present in the area of discomfort. Label sensations in the most objective way possible. Heaviness, sharpness, heat, aching. Stick to the raw sensations you're experiencing rather than what your mind may be saying about the sensations. Now return your attention back to the neutral area. Notice if anything feels differently than the first time you visited here. Are there more nuanced sensations that you can become aware of? Observe and label the raw sensations that are present here. Now, let's go deeper and get even more curious about the area of discomfort. If the sensations of pain had a color, what color would they be? Can you identify the texture and weight of what's happening here? If the alarm of your nervous system starts to go off during this exploration, that's okay. Take a step back as if you're watching your experience from an outside perspective. You may like to take a few soothing deep breaths or a couple of rounds of square breath and then come back to watching the sensations here. Now, travel to the neutral area and do the same deeper exploration. What color are the sensations here? Do they have a texture or a weight? Return to the area of discomfort now, noticing anything new or different about this part of your body. How quickly are the sensations of pain moving and where might they be moving to?
Now return to the neutral area. How have sensations evolved here? Next, become aware of the space between the neutral area and the area of discomfort, the space between the muck and the lotus flower. Can you become aware that all of it is just sensation? The mind may come in with commentary about which sensation is bad and which is good. But at its core, all sensation just is. Can you sense the separation between the area of discomfort and the neutral area begin to diminish? Sense how, yes, you're standing in the middle of the mucky swamp. But now, the beautiful lotus flower is right in front of you. Tune into pure sensation without the, I like this, I don't like that, narrative of the mind. Nothing is good or bad. Everything just is. Take a moment to appreciate the beauty of the lotus flower and the swamp in which it grows. This is the varied experience of life and of the body. As we begin to close this meditation, Let go of any visualization and let your awareness wash over your entire body. Become aware of as much surface area of your body as possible. Feeling the aliveness of your head, your neck, shoulders, and back. Your arms, chest, belly, your pelvis, hips, legs, and feet. Your entire body, from head to toe, alive with sensation. Your body is a vessel through which so much energy, aliveness, and sensation flows. Open yourself to it all. Sleep well and good night.